genius, thinks he's so smart. People are under the impression very often that hallucinations are uncommon and you have to be a little bit insane to actually have them. In actual fact, they're very common. In a very loose sense, you could say dreams are very much like hallucinations. If you want to be more strict about it, you could say there's a very great difference. But in any case, we're talking about stimulation of certain centres in the brain through some kind of chemical activation, some kind of imbalance, which may well cause experiences. You could have it due to a naturally occurring condition, through injury, disease, perhaps from medication, or illegal drugs. But so what? There's nothing special about that, and I don't think you have to be insane to actually suffer from some of these things. Recognising what it is, realising what you're actually going through, or what another person may be going through is very important. And there are many people out there who think they have very real experiences with angels, spirit guides, uh, even God and Jesus. And in actuality, all they're doing is simply having a hallucination. It could be visual, it could be auditory, it could be any number of senses. And uh, some of the most powerful experiences are caused by a mixture of these effects. You wouldn't necessarily have a permanent disorder just by having one or two experiences. And visualization and imagination are very different from a continuous disorder. But in any case, it's worth talking openly about this and the possibilities that many of the so-called spiritual experiences historically and in the present, as with New Age, are basically manifestations of a brain. Uh, not a question of something happening beyond that, of the human mind. You could argue that there's something else going on, but when there's a more reasonable explanation and no great reason to assume there must be something beyond the brain and its function causing this, I just don't see why you must automatically jump to the idea that you are indeed being interacted with by, I don't know, angels, aliens, devils, demons, or, I don't know, fairies at the bottom of the garden. It's a massive assumption. Lester, Robert W. Lester wants to make fun 